still type yes at the chat there. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Yes. All right, thank you. Yes. yes. All right. So while waiting, while waiting for the other audience to join, uh, can I know where are you guys come from? Can you check where are you come from in the uh, chat? Kalian dari daerah mana ya? Bisa di yes, share. everyone. Come on. Let's yeah. introduce yourself. You can type your name. Yeah. You can tell me your uh, your place, your school, yeah. maybe. Where you come from, basically. You can type at the chat room there. Okay, there is uh, there is Ida Wahyuni from Malang. Hello, and then there is uh, yes, yes Kiel from Bekasi, and Anwar. Hello, Anwar. And then there is Fajar from Sampit. Hello everyone. So while we are waiting, you can just type uh, your name and where would you come from, so we can get to know each other better. We're still waiting for those who haven't joined us. So if you know a friend who hasn't joined the channel, just uh, tell them that the link was shared and you can just go to the link so we can start the meeting immediately. Thank you for those who have uh, met their chance to get here. It's really a pleasure to share with you guys. Okay, so there is uh, there is Lina from Medan. Hi, Lina. There is Ahmad from Sidoarjo, East Java. Hello. There is uh, Anisa from Pati, Central Java. Hi, Anisa. Very nice to see you guys. But uh, okay, until now we have forty-four people, so we're still gonna wait. Um, maybe around sixty or maybe fifty people. We're going to start at fourteen uh fourteen five p.m. So make sure uh you guys are ready for it, and make sure your friends already joined the room too, because we don't want them to miss it. All right, uh, while waiting, can you type uh, number one if you are uh, elementary uh, or SMP student, okay? Uh, type two if you are high school student, SMR students or SMK students, you type two. And then if you are university students, all right, can you type three? So at least we get to know. How many of you already in the university? How are you in SMR, SMP, elementary? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, some of you is still on elementary. This is very interesting. Yes. Okay. Okay, we will start another three more minutes, yeah, Nayo. Yes, we'll start it in around three minutes. All right. But if the participant, uh, we're going to still wait until four, five, four uh, and five. Okay. Fourteen and five. So the rest of you already online. Can you stay for a while, yeah? All right, so Nina Tan, high school student, so you are number two, yeah, number two. Kunia and Clara still uh, SMP, yeah, high school, yeah. 
and then Ivamus University, uh, we enter also University student, Aldila University student, Stephanie, Jeffrey University student. All right, it's good. So we have a different, all right, different audience today. Of course. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, remember you can type one for elementary, you can type two for high school, and you can type three for university. So don't forget to introduce yourself in the comment section. All right. Hi, Akmal from Samarinda. All right. Uh, hello, Michael from Sampit, Borneo. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget, uh, during presentation, you can pin the presentation slide so it won't go away. So the presentation slide will be stick on your screen. So make sure to pin it once the presentation screen is ready. Hello, Kais from Tasikmalaya. Hello, Kevin from Jakarta. Hello, Fahri from Malang City, Indonesia. Hey, Fahri. All right, I just come back from Malang last month. All right, I was there <laughs> for one week in Malang. But I have no chance to meet you. Yeah, next time, I hope we can meet in Malang. All right, Umu from South Sulawesi. All right, Harfis from Palembang. All right, nice place, Palembang. Okay, it's already 2 p.m. So uh, if your friend is still haven't joined the rooms, just uh, you can tell them, give them the link, so we, they can join us in this session. Hi, Yuda. You're also from Malang. So, quite a number of you from Malang, yeah? I saw Malang, Surabaya, yeah. Adista also from Malang. Yeah. Kendal, Central Jawa Tengah, yeah. Kendal, yeah. All right, Emmanuel from Makassar. Hi, Semarang. All right, Seliana from Semarang. Never been to Semarang before. Maybe next time, <laughs> all right? I'll visit Semarang and Makassar. Oh, we have uh, someone from Flores, all right? Ah, uh, we have any from Lazuli. Is it Ibu Any? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ibu Any. Yeah. Selamat berpuasa ya Ibu Any. Selamat berpuasa juga buat kalian semua ya. All right.
Okay, we're going to wait for uh, two minutes before we start. We have 74 people here, so uh, for those who have friends who haven't joined us, uh, make sure they are here in this room with us. Uh, and if you guys having trouble on connecting the internet, or maybe uh, you got um, you left the room without your new without your knowing, maybe it's because the signal or something. You just uh, you can try to rejoin us, and if there's a trouble, you can tell it on the group. You can tell us on the group. All right, uh, while waiting, uh, I need to know uh, if you guys attended my last week uh, session on a seminar. If you attended my session, you, uh, can you type Y for yes? And if you did not attend my last week uh, seminar, can you put N? No, means I know you are first time All right, attending my seminar. All right, so Anwar, you know, most of you know, yeah. All right. Okay, Yuli, yes. All right. Fajal also, yes. All right. Most of you know. All right, Ishma, yes. All right. All right. Okay, most of you have not uh, attended, uh, but uh, don't worry, all right? So uh, it's your opportunity and it's my opportunity also, all right, uh, to share the knowledge. This is more on uh, knowledge sharing, all right? So for all of you, all right? And uh, before we start, before we start, uh, I just want to let you know, all right, uh, throughout this seminar, I will speak in English, all right? Um, I'm so sorry that uh, my Bahasa is still, you know, I'm still improving. I'm still learning Bahasa Indonesia, but my Bahasa Indonesia is still, still not good. But uh, I hope all of you are okay, all right? Uh, I will speak in English, but at the same time, I will try to mix it with Bahasa Melayu a bit, all right, Bahasa Melayu a bit. And uh, if you have any question or if you're not really sure, uh, then you can just type. You can just type in chat room. Uh, then I will explain later. All right? Okay. I hope everyone is okay. Thank yeah? you. Nayo, is it okay, Nayo? Yeah, yeah it's, it's really fine. It's okay. All right. Okay, so uh, it's already 14 and 6 o'clock here in Java, in West Java. So we are about to start our meeting. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Praise to Allah who has guided us to taqwa like his command in the Al-Quran. Then salawat and salam to our beautiful to our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing great despite what's happening in the world right now. Before we begin, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Nayo from the International Young Scientists Association, and it is my honor to welcome you to Ngabuburit Bareng ESA Week 3. Okay, so this week is a special one because we have an international speaker who will give us insight about what to prepare before joining an online competition. For those who are wondering on what you should and never should do during online video presentation, wait no more because we are going to learn about it together today. But before we get to that point, let me remind you of the rules in this webinar. Okay, so here's the rule. The first one is all audiences must turn off their microphone and turn on their cameras. We wouldn't want any disturbing noise, but we would also like to see you, so don't be shy to show yourself. Number two, operator has full control of your mic and camera. Three, cert e certificate will only be distributed for those who stay until the end of the seminar. So there will be uh, an app. 
uh, an attendance form that will be shared in the end of the session. So make sure you stay on the seminar until the end. Number four, audiences must not leave the room during the seminar. If you leave, you will not gain another admit to the room. If by anything you left the room automatically without you knowing, you can contact our team from the admin numbers on the WhatsApp group. Number five, during the question and answer session, after the presentation session, audience can send questions using the format of name underscore educational institute underscore questions. And then the questions will be sorted out by MC. So I'm going to uh, give you an explanation, uh, more like a sample if you want to ask some question. So here it is. Uh, here is mine. Okay, uh, you can tell in the comment section. I just type a sample uh, for those who wants to try to give your questions and will be sorted out and be question be asked during the Q and A session. Okay, uh, hope it's all clear. So the next we are going to talk about how to deliver an online presentation, even in the middle of a pandemic like now. We shall not stop on giving the best of ourselves within creating a masterpiece. Take research study, for example. There are also many ways you can still manage to join competition without the need to worry about contracting the virus of COVID-19. Uh, so that's why online competition is probably the best choice for you right now. And for today, I would like to say hi to our wonderful speaker, Mr. Roslan. Uh, he is the head faculty of Creative Arts and Design, Stegi College, Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, Nayo. Hello. All right. It's good to see you again. Okay. Yeah, I still remember we it's good to see met you. in Bali. Yeah. Yeah, we met in Bali's airport. Yeah, we met in Bali. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your chances. Okay then. Uh, without further ado, let's just uh, let's start the seminar, Mr. Roslan. The room is all yours. All right, thank you, Nayo. All right, can you play the slide? Okay. All right, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon to all of you. All right, so uh, if in Malaysia, Bahasa Melayu, uh, selamat petang ya, selamat petang untuk kalian semua. Kalau di sana, selamat sore. Okay, kalau di Malaysia itu selamat petang. All right, so uh, my name is uh, Mr. Roslan. You can call me Okay, Mr. Roslan or Pak Roslan, all right, and then, uh, okay, I, I'm actually from Segi uh, University and Colleges Malaysia, all right, uh, I have working, I've been working with Segi for 15 years, so I'm in education for 15 years, all right, uh, selama 15 tahun, yeah, all right, and then uh, today, all right, today I just want to share with you, all right, uh, some of the tips, all right, the tips uh, if you want to do the online presentation, all right, online presentation means video presentation, all right, so I'm going to give you some tips, all right, ada beberapa tips ya, uh, yang perlu diambil, okay, untuk menghasilkan uh, video yang, kalau di sana katanya keren ya, all right, Okay, um, is the slide ready, uh, Nayo? Well, the slide is actually ready. So I have an account, uh, the, the name was Nayo Tama. Uh, it already showed the slide. Uh, you can pin it. And for Mindo, maybe you can, uh, you can stop sharing your screen, maybe, please. Uh, okay. All right. You can uh, find my name, Nayo Tama, uh, and then pin it on your screen. Sorry, uh, how? Go to? Uh, you can go to the participants and find the name of Nayotama. Participant, all right. Participant and then Nayo, all right. Yes. And uh, Nayo, yeah. Nayotama and then uh, you can pin the slide. Just click at the picture on all my right. name. Uh -huh. Select the options of pin the slide. In this, uh, I still cannot see the slide. 
Okay, wait. Um, did you did you already touch or my picture? And then yeah. there is the pin pin pictures. Yeah. Pin, yeah. Yes. Pin to screen, yeah. Yes. Okay. So wait. It's actually it's actually already shown on my phone. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have two accounts, so one is the one that I speak, and the other one is uh, the account that I share my presentations on. All right. Have you found it, sir? Yeah, so I already clicked pin, pin mm -hmm. to screen. All right. Is it loaded already? Uh, but I cannot, I cannot uh, see, I can't see from my screen. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, can, I, can, uh, can I just present now? Oh, uh, um, you want to present it by yours? Yeah. Okay, okay, it's okay. I'll stop okay. sharing it. All right, so let me check. Sorry, guys. All right, there's a technical, some technical error here. All right, uh, effective. All right, can you guys see this slide? Yes, can. Yes, right. yes, we can see it. Okay, yes, can. Can. okay. All right, we can see. All right. For for everyone, maybe you can pin Mr. Rosland's uh, screen. You just type it on the. You just uh, type the pin button on the pictures. So the right. screen won't be moving during presentation. Okay. All right. So uh, this is uh, I'm going to share with you. Yeah. All right. Uh, tips for delivering online video presentation. All right. So I already uh, introduced myself a little bit just now. All right. And uh, just to share with you, yeah, okay, uh, I've been appointed as one of the jury in numerous invention, innovation, and design competition, all right, in Malaysia, all right. So uh, that's why I've experienced dealing with this. So that's why I'm going to share with you, all right, I'm going to share with you uh, the tips, all right, uh, on some of the area of the competition. All right, so basically, all right, so for today, all right, uh, what we are going to, this is the learning outcome, all right, so hopefully after you complete this seminar, all right, all of you, all right, should be able to demonstrate engaging online video presentation, all right, your video must be engaging, okay, and then number two, all right, you are able to make proper preparation, all right, this preparation is not only during the online seminar. All right, this preparation should be before, all right, during and after the presentation. All right, next one, all right, uh, all of you, all right, after this seminar, all right, hopefully you should be able to identify your strength. All right, you need to know where is your strength. And it should, you, all of, uh, all of you should build self-confidence. All right, because you are going to represent, okay? You're going to present your product or innovation or science project. So you need uh, to build a self-confidence in the process of delivering online video presentation. All right, so what we are going to learn for today, all right? So today, all right, it's very quick, very fast. You don't worry, it won't take your time long, all right? I guess, so number one, I'm going to share with you why online competition. All right, and why online video presentation? Okay, and then next, I'm going to give you some tips. All right, these tips, including the 
pre-presentation means before the actual presentation, during the presentation, and also post-presentation. Post-presentation means after the presentation. All right, and also I'm going to share with you some common mistakes. All right, some common mistake. So, and then it's conclusion. All right, so um, this is just to share with you. Have you seen this, uh, this, this photo before? All right. No, no. No, okay, so this is just to share with you. So, Nayo, remember that you asked everyone to on the video, right, Nayo? Yes. yes. All right, so is when on the video? on the video, so this is everybody looks good, all right? Everybody looks good, all right? Your height is proper and so on. So, when you are on video, you should be always look good. But what happened? Some of you might off your computer. So when you're off computer, you do not want to on your computer. Maybe your video, maybe this is what you will look like. All right. <laughs> so this okay. is audio only. All right. Audio only means you switch off the video and then you just switch on the audio only. But we don't want this thing. Okay. We don't want you to look horrible and then you just off your video right? and just audio. We want all of us to look good, all right? We want all of us to look good like this, all right? We want to look good. All right. So, okay, I am just sharing with some of you, all right? These are some of the competition, all right? These are some of the online competition, all right? Online competition. Um, in partnership with the Young and Association. All right, so we have the 2020 Japan Design Idea and Innovation Expo. All right, we have Korea International Women's Invention Exposition. We have Young National Science Fair 2020. All right, and also we have MYSCE, Malaysia Young Scientists of Association. And for your information, all of these competition are online competition. All right, so if you wish to join, okay, this is only some of it, yeah, we have so many, we have so many uh, online competition. But if you wish to join this online competition, you need to be well prepared. And here am I today, okay, here I am, all right, today to share with you what are the things that you need to do in order to join this online competition, especially when you're preparing a video, all right, when you're preparing a video. Most of this online competition requires you to submit your video. All right, submit your video. So I will explain to you uh, later on. All right, so next, why online science or invention competition? So we have a science competition, we have uh, invention or right, competition, but you need to understand why online science or invention competition. So basically, when you're talking about why we have advantage and disadvantage, all right? So the advantage, the advantages are, all right? So during this COVID-19 uh, period, all right? So you are not allowed to travel. So the advantage is you just stay at home, you do your research, reading and so on, all right? And then you do not have to travel, all right? So this is advantage whereby you can spend most of your time, okay, doing research, doing preparation, and doing some reading. All right, next advantage, okay, so during throughout this COVID-19 period, okay, basically all of us, all right, including myself, I save a lot of time, I save a lot of my money, all right, and then cost time, I don't need to travel, all right, I don't need to, for example, if I, uh, join the competition all right join competition in korea so i have to pay for the accommodation for the flight ticket and then i have to think what to eat all right and so on so when you are joining the online competition basically you can save a lot of costs all right and also your time so you just imagine traveling time from here or from indonesia to turkey all right to korea to some other places all right it takes so much time all right 
And then another advantage is, is flexibility. All right, flexibility in the sense of if let's say it's a video competition or video submission, okay, you got so many time, uh, so many hours, so many time to do a lot of preparation. All right, and then if the video is not so good, then you can reshoot. All right, submit, reshoot. All right, okay, not satisfied, reshoot again. All right, and so on. If you're not happy, then reshoot. So this is what we call flexibility. All right, flexibility. All right, and then next one will be, okay, I believe, all right, the advantage of this online competition, all of us will be well prepared. All right, well prepared in the sense of, all right, the presentation is uh, on online. All right, so not like a one to one presentation. All right, based on my experience, when the students are doing their, prepared, are doing their presentation, some of them are quite worried, you know, they are a bit nervous and so on. So sometimes they are blank, don't know what to say. All right, so this has happened, okay, when face to face competition. But when video competition, so you are not facing us, we are not facing the jury. So it seems that, okay, you are well prepared. All right, for that competition. All right, so not only the advantage, all right, we also have this advantage, all right, of this online, all right, online competition. So number one, all right, uh, actually, uh, there will be no actual prototype can be displayed. Okay, why? Because you do not have both to be displayed. All right, so the viewer, all right, uh, or the judges, the jury cannot see your actual prototype. They can only see through your video only, okay? But sometimes, you know, like judge, they like to smell, they like to touch, they like to, you know, your prototype, but they cannot do it, all right? So this is the advantage. For example, you come up with some invention, you are uh, producing a perfume, all right, from certain plants. But, all right, if you're doing online, so we as a jury, we cannot smell the perfume, all right? So this is one uh, advantage, example eh, of disadvantages, all right? Okay, and then number two is limited interaction. Limited interaction in the sense of it's just one-way interaction. It's just a video and people will view you, all right? It's not like face-to-face -face or when you have booths, all right? then you can interact with the viewer, you can interact with the other friends, you can interact with the jury, okay? All right, next one. All right, the, another disadvantage is uh, you're going to have a limited new social networks, all right? A limited social network, for example. All right, uh, if you're attending the uh, actual uh, competition, okay, you're going to meet different delegates, all right? Uh, from different countries. So we have Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, and uh, we have uh, participants from Vietnam, all right, and so on. But so during, uh, when you attend the competition, you can meet each other, you know, you can meet each other, you know each other, you exchange your uh, Instagram, all right, your Facebook, you exchange your contact number, and so on. Then it widens your social network. So in the future, if you have some project, you want to collaborate with them, all right, so you can contact them. But when you are attending the online, yeah, online competition, your social network will be very limited. Okay, very limited, whereby, okay, it's very difficult for you, all right, to make new friends. All right, throughout uh, this online social uh, online competition. All right, and then last one, the disadvantage is it's really rely on your internet connectivity and coverage. So for those who stay in the area where the internet connectivity is very poor, all right, I'm sad to say that, all right, um, you, you still can join, but it's very challenging for you, all right, to join the competition, especially when it's um, live, all right, live presentation with the jury, all right. So this is another disadvantage for some of you who stay in the area of poor internet connectivity or poor connection and so on, all right. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it happens. So, um, uh, you know, like, uh, it's kind of sad, yeah, to say that some of you might have very good invention, very good, you know, uh, sense invention or project. But because of this internet connectivity, you stay uh, your area, your 
internet connectivity is not so good then you're not able to join this competition all right so these are some of the disadvantages all right uh, of this online competition all right but don't worry all right so what we're going to do we are going to tackle all of these disadvantages okay we're going to tackle all of this advantage means you still can join the online competition with some of tips all right so you don't worry you still can join all right so i'm going to start giving up your tips on pre-presentation which means before the actual presentation during actual presentation and post presentation or after the presentation all right so when getting started all right when you join the uh, online competition yeah all right you guys you need to know whether it's live all right live competition whereby you need to do live presentation all right you need to do live presentation all right whereby the jury or the uh organizer will inform you you need to log in a uh, certain time certain date certain day all right and then the jury also will be online and then you need to do the presentation on online and it's live presentation okay so it's live all right means there will be no recording you cannot you know record and do something it's live or you need to check that some of the online competition are uh, required you to just submit your record video okay the video that you recorded okay or some of the online competition they required you to upload all right to upload your video into your uh, youtube all right so you have to create uh, create a youtube account then you do a video recording then you just upload and then you just share the link all right so first of all okay when you're getting started yeah when you want to start the online competition you really need to know what is the requirement okay so you need to chat with the organizer is it a live presentation or live uh, demonstration with a jury or it's just a video submission all right and then you evaluate based on the video that you uploaded okay so you need to know these two this is very important and different competition organizer they have different requirements all right so uh this is the pre-presentation or before the presentation yeah okay before the presentation first of all you need to have a hardware all right hardware means laptop all right laptop camera dslr camera it doesn't matter whether uh, as long as it's hardware so number one all right number one you need to make sure that all your hardware is functioning well all right it must be function all right and then number two all right make sure your camera or your laptop battery must be in full okay so why follow you just imagine okay you just imagine if it's uh live all right live telecast whereby you need to do a presentation in front of your laptop suddenly your battery is out of you know your laptop is out of battery all right so then the jury might disconnect with you online and then it's very difficult for the jury to give you marks all right on this so just make sure okay your laptop battery must be in full you charge you charge your battery and camera into full or else you need to connect it with a cable all right you know the cable from the plug point all right so you need to all right uh, recharge it all right and then you just let it on and then just do your uh, video and uh, video recording or live all right presentation all right again uh, if let's say it requires a recorded yeah all right recorded video again make sure your camera and your laptop must be in full battery okay so you just imagine that when you are get ready you do the presentation and so on suddenly your camera battery is out of you know power all right then you have to do it again and so on okay all right and then uh tips number three uh, for the hardware you need to recharge all hardware at least one day before means the day before 
Okay, for example, today is my presentation, all right, my online presentation. Make sure you charge it one day before. Okay, uh, why one day before? Because we want to ensure that your hardware um, battery is in full capacity. All right, means it's full battery. All right, and number four, all right, you need to check electricity consumption. All right, electricity consumption, okay, this is based on my experience, yeah, all right. So you need to check the electricity consumption at your own home, your own house, yeah, okay, the rumah kalian. Okay, itu uh, ada electrical consumption. All right, so you need to know whether your, all the equipment, all right, inside your house, the electricity can consume. All right, can consume all your hardware. All right, because it happened we are a few times. All right, when the uh, students or uh, when the the other family members in the same house, they switch on certain machine or certain electrical uh, goods. All right, then when the the moment they switch on, then the whole house turn into blackout. You know, black card, there's a electricity black card, uh, there's an electricity card, all right? Maybe because of uh, the electricity consumption up to the maximum, all right? So that's why it's black card, all right? And then you have to redo again and so on, okay? Let me tell you, this might be happen to some of you as well. All right, it might be happen to some of you. So that's why I say you need to, all right, recharge, all right, your hardware one day before. So at least when it's electrical cut, all right, suddenly it's black card, all right. So you still can rely on the battery, all right, from your laptop and from your camera. Okay, all right. And then uh, last, okay, even though this is not really hardware as per se, but I want you to get ready with scripts, all right? Get ready with script, which means, okay, you need to know what you need to say, okay? And then try to remember the key important keys, okay? Important key. So the, remember the keys are important uh, words, all right? For example, okay? So you need to just uh, remember, all right? You do not need to uh, remember exactly the words, all right? Wow, line by line, but just remember the keywords. What are the important words, the keywords that you need to uh, present it, all right, uh, during online. All right, next is uh, appearance. All right, so just look at the photo on your right hand side. All right, so are you going, you, okay, basically you need to look beautiful in the video during presentation. Okay, definitely you want to look pretty, all right, during the presentation. And for the guys, all right, you want to look more elegant, all right, and then you want to look handsome, all right, in, uh, in front of the camera, all right. So, but again, all right, we do not, you to look funny, all right, we don't want you, we don't want you to look funny in the video, all right, because this is the competition. All right, it's not uh, what they call it, uh, comedian, all right, comedian competition, all right, so we don't want you to look funny, all right, and also for the ladies, okay, please, we don't want you to look cute, all right, don't, don't pretend that you are cute in front of the camera, because remember, all right, you are entering the competition. All right, you need to be confident, you need to be pretty, you need to be beautiful. All right, for the guys, you need to be elegant, you need to be handsome. All right, you need to be full of confidence. All right, so please do not look funny, please do not cute in front of the camera. Okay, so as for the appearance, okay, these are some of my tips here. Yeah? Okay, tips number one, all right, make sure you had enough sleep the day before the presentation. All right, so make sure, let's say today is your presentation, all right, you need to have enough sleep the day before. All right, why? Because we don't want you to look sleepy in front of the camera. All right, we do not want to see your eye back. You know, sometimes your eye back turn into um, black, all right, because you're not enough sleep. All right, we don't want to see that. Remember or not, you want to look elegant, you need to look pretty, you need to look beautiful, all right. And we also do not want you like uh, when during the presentation and so, uh, then suddenly you are yawning. You know yawning, all right? Like, 
you know, uh, yawning and then yes. you're yeah, yawning. Uh, now you, what is uh, yawning in uh, bahasa ya? Yeah? In bahasa? Yawning yeah. in Indonesia is angop. You used to call it angop or uh, like, uh, like yeah. that kind of move. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we don't want, okay, we don't want that happen. Okay, we don't want that happen during the online. Uh, especially, yeah, especially during the live, all right, especially live presentation and so on. Okay, and then tips number two, okay, once you had enough sleep, you wake up early, then you, okay, then you need to wear proper attire decently. All right, a proper attire. My advice is, if possible, you wear dark color shirt. So far, like me, all right, like me today, all right, I'm wearing dark color shirt. Why dark color shirt? All right, because you will look more stand out. Okay, more stand out with a plain background. So let's say if my background here is white, all right, it's white. Then when I'm wearing a dark shirt, then in the video, I look more stand out. All right. So my advice to all of you also, all right, please wear, all right, um, dark color shirt. All right. So proper attire. All right. And then for the guys, all right, for the guys, please do not wear shorts. All right. Please do not wear shorts. Okay. I know some of you, when I ask you to on the video, okay, all of you looks good. All right, looks good. And then like you are wearing a proper shirt. But the moment when you stand up, then you wear shorts, wear your boxer, you know, and so on. We don't want that things to be happen. All right, we don't want that thing to be happen. All right, so you need to wear long pants and proper attire. All right. Then for the ladies, all right, for the ladies, if your hair is long, I want you to, all right, tie up your uh, hair. All right, so comb your hair tidily for both, for the guys and for the girls. All right, you need to tie up your hair tidily. And for the ladies, okay, if you are wearing a grudong, yeah, it's fine. All right, but for those who are not wearing, all right, then you need to, if possible, you tie up, you tie up your hair so it won't look messy. All right, during the presentation. All right. And then uh, next tips, all right, for the ladies, all right, for the girls, okay, please do not over makeup, okay? I'm not saying that you cannot make up. Yes, you can make up, you can put a makeup because you want to look beautiful, you want to look pretty in front of the camera, but please do not over makeup, all right? Over makeup or you use bright color eyeshadow, all right? Uh, bright color, blusher, and so on, all right? So it's not appropriate for you to do the presentation with that look, all right? And then for the guys also, all right, even though you are not makeup, okay, hopefully none of the guys are wearing makeup during the presentation, but I want you to make sure, okay, your mustache, your beard, all right, so it's properly cut, properly trimmed, okay? Like myself, okay, I beard and mustache, I properly trim. Okay, uh, because we don't want you to look messy, all right, uh, on the computer or on the camera, all right, or in your video, all right. And then I already mentioned to you, okay, if possible, you wear that color shirt, all right. And last but not least, your appearance, all of you might look good and make sure you do not look like a clown. All right, we don't want you to look like a clown. All right, we don't want you to make funny, funny things. All right, and so on. Okay. All right, so far, is it everything okay? All right, so far, okay, Neo, is it okay? All right. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Okay, yeah. All right, so I can proceed, yeah. All right, so sure. during the presentation, all right, and then this is during the presentation. Okay, during the presentation, okay, there are three areas, okay, there are three areas that you need to look into, all right, number one is video view, all right, number two is the presentation skills, and then number three is the environmental setup, all right, environment setup, where you set up, okay, for your video shooting, okay. All right, so let's say this is me, all right? So this is me, all right? I'm going to, all right? I'm going to do the presentation and so on. 
All right, and then if you notice, I'm wearing light shirt. All right, so light uh, color shirt, green color. But remember or not, I told you I okay, get to wear dark color shirt. So I wear a red jacket. All right, a red jacket. All right, as a um, dark color shirt for my presentation. Okay, so we have four view, camera view. All right, so before you start, all right, uh, on your video or before you start with the online presentation, you need to make sure yeah, your presentation is half of your body. All right, so for example, like myself, half of my body. All right, so this is the, but it depends on the competition requirement, yeah, okay, but recommendably, all right, I would recommend you, all right, and my advice is, my advice, just half of your body, all right, so for example, like the first frame there, camera there is half of your body, all right, so the next one, all right, no, 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 all right, please do not show your face only. All right, you're not doing the teleconference. All right, because sometimes even just now when I ask or when Neo asked all of you, all right, to switch on your camera. All right, I noticed that some of you look like this. All right, some of you look like this. All right, because I can see your face exactly, full space. All right, just your face only. All right. Please get rid, yeah. All right, please get rid. All right, from uh, this, okay. Because usually face is just for the, for example, like a conference and so on, okay. But remember, you are doing the presentation, okay. Presentation requires a body language, okay. So that's why you need half of your body. All right. So the next video view. All right. So. This is very far, okay? If you look at the frame, all right, you very stand so far, all right? And then it, you look very small in the camera, and then you're going to have so many background, all right? So when you have so many background, it will interrupt the jury attention, all right? So the jury or the viewer might lose their interest, okay? Might lose their interest all right to watch you all right because of there's so many okay uh, interruption behind you as a background all right so make sure okay you do not stand very far from the camera or from your laptop all right and for example uh, and if let's say you want to present your finding please stand by the uh, one side okay in the one side and another side where you can present okay you can present all your findings all your research and so on okay please do not stand in the middle or please do not put your panel in the middle all right then you have your panel in the middle and you stand in the middle also all right then it's very hard okay for the jury to see because you are blocking all right you are blocking your posters all right so these are the tips and please remember when you do the view all right so just half of the video all right but again this is only the guideline and recommendation it depends on the competition requirement some of the competition requirement requires you full body all right but let me tell you, most of the video uh, competition, it just requires half only. They don't need to see your leg, all right? Just half of your body. All right, so next, all right, is uh, presentation skills. All right, this is also very important for you to have a certain skill, okay? You need to have a certain skill, okay, when you do the presentation, okay? First of all, you need to engage, okay? You need to engage the viewer attention, okay? For example, like I'm a jury, all right? I'm a jury, and then you are presenting your ideas, okay? So you need to make sure that you engage me, okay? And you create interest, okay? Whereby I interested to see your video or I'm interested to listen to you, all right? So you need to have that skill. All right, so what are the skills all right, that you need to have? 
Alright, number one. Alright, when you are uh, doing the presentation skill, lose your body. Do not like very stiff. Alright, lose, lose your body. Alright, lose your body. Do some stretching. Alright, and so on. Okay, don't worry. Alright, I know you're nervous, but don't worry. Alright, lose your body. Alright, then you have to be relaxed. Alright, relax. And you need to be calm. Alright, because we don't want uh, the jury or uh, the viewer to see your nervous face. Alright. And please do remember, take a deep breath. All right, control your breath. All right, breathe in, breathe out. All right, then breathe in, stop a bit, then breathe out. All right, so you need to lose your body. All right, please do not stiff. All right, and then you need to be relaxed. All right, you need to be calm. All right, and then you need to take a deep breath before your presentation. All right. Number two, all right, add in some body gesture. All right, body gesture, body language, body movement. All right. So, for example, like if you notice when I'm doing the presentation, all right, when I'm doing the presentation, I share with all of you. If you view my video, yeah, all right. So, I use my body. Okay, I just I use my body movement, I use my hand. All right. So, these are what we call body gesture and body language. All right, body language. Our body movement. All right. So we don't. We do not want like, uh, for example, like you become a robot. Okay. Uh, you just like just stand there. All right. Okay. Uh, good evening. My name is Roslan. I'm from Malaysia, and today I'm going. Na, 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 na. Okay. So it's like a robot. It's like control. It's recorded. All right. And so on. We don't want that happen. So you need to use your hand body. All right. You need to use your hand. You need to your body language for example hi guys all right good morning or good afternoon my name all right my name is Mr. Roslan I'm from Malaysia and today I'm going to share with all of you all right uh, with my research that call blah 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 and so on all right so can you see difference all right so I hope you can see the difference yeah the first one is a bit stiff all right no energy all right but the second one all right when you have more body gesture with the right tone of intonation, all right, and you speak very clear, all right, then it can create some interest to the viewer and the jury to keep listening to uh, to your presentation. Okay? All right. And then number three, all right, you need to show your passion. All right, you need to show your passion towards your science project or your invention project. All right, because it is your project. All right, it is your project. So by right, you should well versed. You should well known. Okay, with your project. All right. So please do not present that the project you are not really sure. All right, you are not really sure. You are skeptical. You are in doubt with your project. So basically, jury like uh, jury, they are very professional. All right, they can read your mind, they can read your body language, they can read from the way you present your project and so on, whether you are really passionate into your sense project, all right, into your invention project, or you still have doubt, okay, you're still skeptical, all right, if your science or impression project, all right. So my advice to all of you, all right, you really need to have a passion towards your science or impression project, and then make it the best, all right, the best invention project or the best sense project for you. And you should well know from A to Z, all right. So when the jury asks you a question, you're able to answer them correct. All right, next, okay, next uh, tips, all right. When you do a presentation, keep it simple, all right, keep it simple. All right, because we as a jury, we don't want you to keep, okay, repeat it again, all right, and then you read the abstract, you know, sometimes the abstract is very long, you read all of the abstract with one or two paragraphs, you know, and so on. So jury will not interested to listen your abstract, all right, so jury would like to, interested to know your introduction. Your short, simple introduction, but yet it's very meaningful. All right. So just keep it simple. All right. Keep it simple. 
you just concentrate on the key point. Okay, just concentrate on the key point. Okay, you do not have to like you know, uh, you go here from A to B, then B to C, you know, and then C to D, D to E, and so on. While actually your presentation, you can start from A straight away to D, for example. All right, so just make it simple and just concentrate on the key point. Then next tips, all right, next tips. All right, so all of you, all right, you need to be more energy, all right, energetic, all right. I want you to full with energy, all right. You need to be more energetic, all right. I want you to show your enthusiasm, all right, at the beginning of your video presentation. All right, so that's why if you remember my previous slide, I told you, okay, please make sure you have enough sleep. All right, the day before your presentation, you need to have enough sleep. Why? Because we want you to be energetic, all right, and the next day, energetic during the presentation. All right, so you need to be energetic, all right, and then you need to show your enthusiasm, all right, at the beginning of the video presentation. All right, let me share with you, all right, the beginning of the video presentation is very, 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 very crucial. Okay, it's very crucial. All right, if the start of the video is very interesting, all right, then the viewer or the jury will keep, okay, will keep watching it. But what happened, okay, if at the beginning, all right, you are lack of energy, you are like robotic, all right, you are like no body gesture, you just stand there, all right, you just stand there and just as well, you know. So the jury or the viewer might lose their interest, all right, might lose their interest to watch your video, all right. So that's why, all right, I mentioned in these tips, all right, it's very important at the beginning of your video presentation. Okay, so beginning must be very energetic, you know, keep smiling, all right, and then put some, a, a lot of key points, all right, something, facts that interesting and so on, just to grab, all right, viewer attention. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, the next, all right, the next uh, tips, okay, please do not show your back, all right. Sorry, yeah, there's a spelling error. Please do not show you your back in front of camera. Okay, please, this is don't. Please do not show your back in the camera. All right. So once you show your back, all right, in front of the camera, all right, means you did not show respect. Okay, you did not show your respect to your viewer, all right, to the online jury. All right. So if they say you want to present something, all right remember or not the video okay the video uh the my uh previous slide the video view all right you need to still stand at one side all right and facing the jury and you still can all right present okay let's say this is the poster you still can present okay and so on without show your back all right please do not ever show your back side all right back your back in front of the camera all right and the last tips i want to give you on the presentation skill all right speak the simplest understanding language okay speak the simplest why simplest okay why must be understandable all right because we want you able to deliver the message successfully to the viewer okay again i repeat why you need to speak the simplest understandable language is because we want you to successfully deliver the message to the viewer okay so please do not use la like, very high standard english if let's say the presentation is english please do not use you know, like some of the words, uh, maybe I never heard before also, you know, or maybe you you, are, you raise up in England or in America, all right? So you stay there for 19 years, 18 years. 
so your english okay is very perfect so you use a lot of you know but uh again okay it will defeat the purpose okay because the most important thing is we need to uh, we need to understand that the viewer audrey must understand what you are saying okay so number one please do not use high standard english all right and you know from in indonesia i've been traveled to indonesia i've been traveled to so many uh, places all right and then i was amazed that in indonesia we have more than 1000 all right language slang and so on all right so we have sundanese we have javanese we have chinese all right bata and so on okay so you have your own language and so on all right but again all right please do not speak on your own language all right please do not present on your own language all right so just use english as a main uh communication language okay because english is worldwide okay has been accepted worldwide all right english and use the simplest english as you can so everybody can understand all right so it's not that difficult okay i know uh some of the students they're really worried they're really concerned their english might not so good it's fine it's okay all right as long as the viewer can understand all right or the jury can understand what you want to say what you want to deliver it should be fine okay so you don't worry okay because if you want to join the online the international yeah, the international competition online competition basically you need to speak in english all right so that's why my presentation today all right instead of i speak bahasa melayu all right instead of i speak bahasa melayu i decided to speak in english all right so i can improve myself all right and also you can improve yourself as well so all of you all right we listen it okay we listen my presentation in english so you will practice your hearing all right you will practice your hearing in english and also it encourage i will encourage all of you all right to speak in english as well okay and then let me share with you all right based on my first experience and my experience last week okay from uh, minggu kemarin ya kemarin my first online seminar with esa i received a feedback from one of the student the student said they enjoy they enjoy my presentation but he do not understand okay he, he do not really fully okay fully understand what am i saying okay and so on so i don't blame him okay i don't blame him so my advice to him is to practice more okay to practice more you need to watch more english movie okay or more uh, english tv series okay instead of local movie or local all right uh, local tv series okay by watching the english movie or tv series actually it can uh, build up a skill your english skill your uh, speaking all right skill your listening skill and so on all right so these are some of the tips when you are doing the presentation skill all right and next is environment setup where you need to set up okay uh where do you need to set up your camera okay so lighting all right make sure you have enough lighting around you okay just now when uh neo asked you to switch on your video i noticed that some of the video is very dark all right very dark which means all right it's not enough light around you all right so when you do the video presentation okay or when you are live okay when you are on live all right make sure you have enough lighting around you okay and then next one you need to find natural lights okay natural lights is very simple or easy to find it okay natural lights is actually from your windows all right from your house or from your room windows all right windows or from the doors all right 
but not the indoor house uh indoor inside your house you have door right but not that door all right so the door that leads to outside all right to your outside to the your uh, house compound all right so you just uh, open your main uh, main door or you can open your curtain or open your window like the natural lights okay like natural lights inside your house okay because we need to use as much as natural lights as possible when you are doing the video presentation okay all right next slide okay when you have this natural lights okay but make sure this natural lights is only daytime yeah only daytime night time there's no natural lights all right so please do not do the video recording all right at night time all right night time is not recommendable all right so i will recommend you to do during daytime okay so facing okay when you're doing the camera yeah, when you're doing the video recording uh, camera or using your laptop because some laptop you can do the recording right okay you need to stand yeah okay facing the natural lights make sure in front of you all right in front of you is the window okay with a natural light or in front of you in front yeah in front of you is the door with a natural light okay so you are facing your natural light during the recording or online presentation okay so you will looks good okay it looks good in the video all right again avoid so for, that's why i put that avoid natural lights as a background okay for example let's say i stand here all right so i want to do the presentation and then the window is behind me all right so the window is behind me uh the window with a natural light behind me or the door with a natural light also behind me please avoid okay natural lights as your background okay because when you have the natural lights at your back all right it will create silhouette all right silhouette means you will look dark while the others will look very bright while you look dark all right so please avoid all right natural lights at your back all right the rules is always facing the natural lights always facing all right facing the windows or facing the doors with the natural lights all right and then as for the background all right as for the background when you do the presentation whether it's recorded or whether it's live all right you need to have plain wall or plain panel as a background okay you can see my video all right you can see my video all right so when you can see i have plain wall all right nothing behind my wall all right and then uh because why we need to have wall okay as a background because we do not want okay we do not want when you are doing the video recording and so on so, uh, then uh one or two of your family members all right accidentally walk behind your behind you all right they walk behind you while you are doing the uh, doing the presentation or you are doing the recording all right so then you have to cancel or it doesn't look good when it's go live all right so that's why we need to have a wall background all right so your background will be wall means nobody will walk behind you okay sometimes it happens especially when you are at home all right so when you do a presentation suddenly your brothers your sister your parents they just walk behind you or sometimes they just look at the camera what you're doing you know sometimes they they are quite curious what are you doing so on you know while they did not know that you are live all right live presentation and so on so we do not want uh, we do not want this thing happen okay and then sometimes when you have pets at home you have dogs you have cats all right kucing anjing you know at home so when you do a presentation suddenly your cat walk behind you or jump into you and so on all right so we do not want this to happen all right during your presentation 
All right, and then you need to have light color background. All right, as I mentioned to you. All right, so the best thing is to have the plain wall with a light color wall. All right, as a background. So you are wearing a uh, dark shirt. Okay, with a uh, light background. A uh, light wall as a background. Okay. The next or uh, the last environmental setup, okay, is about interference. All right, interference means you need to avoid from noisy, okay, from noisy place. So you need to avoid from noise places, okay, noise places or noisy place. All right, because I do understand that some of you, you might have 12 siblings, all right. And uh, with parents, with grandparents, with your relatives inside your house and so on. But please avoid, okay? Please avoid from noise place. You need to go to one space or one room, okay? Where you are the one and only inside the room or you get someone to record you without the other person, okay? Because when you need to record, when we need to record your video, or when you do live recording, we need to see, we need to hear, what you say clearly okay we need to hear clearly what you're saying all right so that's why you need to make sure you're not in the noise space all right and sometimes i notice that your house all right some of you stay your house is very near to the roadside and that roadside is also quite busy quite busy with the vehicles you know with the bicycles with a lot of noise uh, people honking, you know, their vehicle and so on. And then, you know, like Speda, you know, like Speda, they're like launching, you know, bell and so on. So, please get rid from this, all right? I do understand that some of your house is very near, all right, very near to the main roadside, okay? But again, you need to move away, all right? You need to go to the place where you can get rid from this noise, okay? Because we really need to hear. All right, what you are saying, what you speak, all right, during the video presentation. All right, and most important thing is switch off your mobile phone, TV, and radio. Okay, so for example, now I'm doing the presentation, all right, before the presentation, so I already switch off. Okay, I already switch off my phone, all right, so nobody will call me, all right, or I put it in silent. All right, so nobody will interrupt me when I'm doing the presentation. All right, even my phone at the back here also, all right, I uh, remove, okay, the wire and so on. Just for a short while, okay, just for a short while. So there will, I hope there will be no interruption, okay. So when you do the recording, all right, especially when you are doing the live, all right, recording live presentation, Make sure you switch off your mobile phone, all right, switch off your TV, and switch off your radio because we don't want to hear anything beside your, your voice, all right? So, and then when your mobile phone is ringing, all right, please do not speak, don't, please do not pick up and speak. Please do not do it, okay? Please do not pick up the phone, all right, in front of the jury. All right, so this is some of the photos, all right, of common lighting issues, all right. So if you look at it, uh, fluorescent light, all right. So number one, the photo is fluorescent light. So usually this is how, uh, how you will look like, okay, when you are at night, okay, because at night, no natural lights, all right. So they use fluorescent light, the light from your home, okay. So you look pale. Okay, you looks pale, all right, so it's not interesting. Number two is underexposed, all right. Underexposed means uh, you are not enough lighting, so your background and yourself is almost similar looks, all right. Or your background, too dark, backlight too strong, okay. Too dark, backlight too strong is just now when I mentioned to you about the silhouette, okay. When you have a very strong light natural light at your back all right then your face will be dark all right over exposed over exposed means you put additional all right you put additional light 
okay, in front of you or okay, uh, in front of you or by your side and so on. So it's overexposed. Please do not do it. All right. And then the next one is too low. Too low means you put your light under your, all right, under your face. And it's quite scary, yeah. It's quite scary when you put your light under your face. Okay, so you can see the reflection of the spectacle of this guy. All right, from from below. All right, and the last photo, bottom right there, is just a just right. Just right means okay. That's the natural color with a fluorescent light, with a natural light. Okay. And uh, this is just right video, all right? Uh, right lighting, okay, when you're doing that video presentation. Okay, we have another example. So these are all bad example. These are all bad example. Please get rid from these tips, all right? So number one, front light. You really put the light directly to you, in front of you. All right, so what happened is, okay, you can see the background and the wall. All right, so you can see your shadow. All right, your shadow and your background. All right, so we don't want to see your shadow as your background. And also, when you're wearing a glasses, yeah, when you're wearing a glasses, spectacle, when you have the light in front of you, then there's a very bright reflection. All right, bright reflection on your spectacles. All right, on your glasses. All right, so please do not put all right the light in front of you. All right, three quarter light. All right, so this is for modeling shoot. Yes, you can. I can modeling shoot. You can, but you are not modeling. You are not doing the modeling shoot. You are doing the video for the presentation. Okay, so three quarter light whereby you put the eighty five degree. Yeah. Okay, let's say this is my ninety degree. It's forty five degree. All right, so this is 45 degree. I put this with the light towards me, all right? So the light will look clear here, but it's a bit dark behind here. All right, please get rid, okay, from this 45 degree light, all right? Or 90 degree side light, all right, side light. Side light means exactly on my side, all right, exactly from my side. So the additional light from my right hand side, okay, will look clear, but on my the other side, it will look dark, okay? And then the bottom there, all right, the bottom there is backlight silhouette, okay? This is what happened when you use a background, okay? You put your natural lights, you put your window behind you or doors behind you, all right, with your natural light behind you. Then we call it silhouette, means you look dark, all right, while around you looks, all right, uh, very bright, okay. And then the next one, all right, the uh, top light. Top light means, okay, you have the light from your top. So when you have your light on your top, only your hair will look bright, okay, while your face still looks dark. All right, and then the last picture is bottom light. Again, all right, like my previous slide. So this is good for horror film, all right? All right, so um, it's not okay, appropriate to put the additional light below you, okay, from the bottom. So all of this, okay, all of these slides, okay, is wrong, okay? You cannot do, okay, you cannot use this video. All right, so my next slide is post presentation. All right, post presentation means uh, after the presentation. All right, so after the presentation, all right, you need to self evaluate. Self evaluate whether you're satisfied or not. All right, uh, if you're not satisfied, then what you need to do and so on. Okay, so you need to identify your areas of improvement. You need to have a list. All right. So if it's live online presentation, then it's, it's done. It's all, already over, okay? Uh, so, but again, if the competition requires you to upload into YouTube, so you need to record it. If it's not certified, you record it again. 
If not satisfied, you record it again and again and again and again. So that's why I put that. Record it again and again and again and again. All right. So make sure you're very satisfied. Then only you upload the video and get someone to evaluate your video. All right. Common mistake. Okay. Very fast one. All right. I already mentioned to you common mis uh, mistake. I only have four common mistake. Number one. Okay. You are not being prepared. All right, then you looks like robot. Okay, you're not prepared. You look nervous. All right, you don't know what to say. Sometimes you blank. All right, you don't know what to say. Which means the common mistake is you are not well being prepared. All right, number two, being robotic. All right, so there's no gesture. Okay, you just stand there. All right, and you just do a talking like a robot. All right, so this is another uh common mistake number two all right being robotic but again my advice is you need to have a gesture okay you need to have a gesture and so on number three all right avoiding eye contact all right so even though all right even though you're doing the video presentation you also need have to have a eye contact with a jury all right with a camera you need to smile all right you need to have an eye contact as well all right, so that's why I told you, do not show your back whereby you get it from your eye contact from the camera, okay? Because you just want to read from the poster. Please, all right, please uh, try to avoid, all right? And if possible, just look, most of the time, just look at your camera and smile. And last common, all right, and last common mistake, you start an ending, is very weak all right so if you remember i mentioned to you you must be very energetic starting very energetic ending also should be very energetic all right and try to make it as interesting as possible okay or else your viewer will lose their interest all right to listen to your video all right so this is my last slides all right finally this is my last slide so to conclude, yeah, uh, in conclusion, all right, so delivering a great presentation basically requires you just to be yourself, all right? What you need to do, you just be yourself. Don't be like some other else. Do not pretend that you are the VJ, video jockey, you know, or you are the TV presenter. No, all right? Please do not be others, all right? You need to be yourself, all right? You need to be yourself. You need to be bold. Bold means you need to, all right, you do not afraid to make mistake. Okay, you're not afraid to make mistake. You need to be bold and you need to be confident. All right, confident in front of the camera for the viewer engagement. All right, so uh, that's all from me. All right, uh, thank you very much. All right, so uh, this is my uh, WhatsApp number. Okay. Uh, last, uh, last, uh, my last week, yeah, last week during my seminar, there's a lot of questions that I'm not able to answer. I'm not able to answer. I'm so sorry, yeah, I'm so sorry that you know, like because of the limited time, I'm not able to answer most of your question. But uh, you can still can contact me if you have any question. You can contact me via my WhatsApp, or you can also contact me via my. Instagram, yeah, you can uh, Instagram Rosla Osman one one eight zero. So any question, all right, you can okay, you can ask me, all right, you can ask me. All right, back to you, Neya. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Roslan. So, uh, what I can highlight from here is that just like the conventional presentation, communicating your research ideas to attract people by verbally and materially engaging is the key of every presentation and by it being yourself bold and confident are true features to deliver the best one uh, and by doing it online means you need some different approaches since the media is not the same as the offline one so preparation is the most important thing to do before during and after a presentation must be said very well Okay, so we're going to continue on the next section, which is the question and answer. Uh, so in here, we already have a few questions. So the first one 
is from Kevin from Kanaan Global School. The question okay. is, can we use studio light? Okay, uh, to answer the question, yeah, Kevin, all right, you can use your studio lights, okay, uh, if you are not enough light, if only you have not enough light in your room, okay? So usually that's why studio light, usually they use it in the studio because usually studio is enclosed area, all right? So they do not have enough light, so they use a studio light, all right? Yes, all right, yes, my answer is yes. You can use studio light only if you do not have enough natural light. All right. Okay. So using the natural light is uh, probably the first option you must consider before using studio light. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. All right. Okay. And again, um, I guess not all of us are having studio light as well, you know. All right. Yeah. So if you have studio light, yes, it's fine. You can use it if not enough light. But some of us, we might not have studio light. So yeah, just use a natural light. Okay, thank you so much for the for the fair answer and the questions. Uh, we're going to continue on the next question, which is from Yuli Santoso from SMAK Harapan Denpasar. Uh, the question is, due to limited time, what points should be presented in online presentation? Okay, so for uh, for the presentation, yeah, okay, just limit to four points, all right? Number one, your introduction, all right? Introduction, introduction there are two types. One, you have to introduce, uh, introduce yourself, all right? Introduce yourself and so on, all right? Then the second introduction is introduction of your project, okay? Make it simple, just introduction and so on. Okay, number two is the method. You need to explain what are the methods that you are using, all right, or research, or what are the uh, steps, all right, what are the steps that you are uh, what you are uh, doing, all right, until you get the final result, all right. And then number three, okay, what are the challenges that you are facing? So usually, usually, jury would like to know what is the challenges that you are facing and how you uh, overcome how you overcome the challenges, all right? So what are the challenges you need to share with the jury, what are the challenges and so on? And then number four is a conclusion and your final product. Why you think that this is the final product is very useful or marketable, all right? And it can be commercialized and so on. Okay, what are the good thing about your product and so on? All right, because of the presentation, uh, there, there are limited time. Yes, I agree with Yuli Santoso, yeah? Okay, because of some of the competition, they only have limit like 20 minutes or 10 minutes presentation or 20 minutes review and so on. So it's very limited. All right, so just, okay, just uh, take note on this four. All right, this four. All right, introduction, introduce, uh, introduce yourself and also introduce, uh, introduce the project. All right, number two, methodology. All right, the method that you're using. All right, number four, the challenges that you're facing. And then the last one is the uh, the final product, all right, the conclusion, for example, or closing, all right? Oh, okay, I hope it's very clear. Uh, yeah. We're going to, because our time is limited, we're going to continue on the last question. Yeah. So here it is. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting. So uh, the question is from Isma Roshida, Universitas Hasanuddin. How about we add some jokes or something like that on our video presentation? Doesn't that reduce our point? How important is that all? Okay, uh, actually, uh, when you do, when you make jokes, yeah, okay, when you make jokes, okay, sometimes you can grab attention, okay, you can grab attention, viewer attention, okay, uh, with your jokes. If you are doing jokes live, then okay, all right, but when it's recorded, you make jokes, then sometimes people, they just look at it and then they don't really get what you say, all right. But actually, uh, I, I, I would consider, um, if possible, please avoid, okay, please avoid from make any jokes, all right, uh, because like, um, I know you want to make 
interesting. You make your video presentation uh, more interesting. Okay. Uh, but instead of jokes, maybe you can do something else. All right, something else. Uh, for example, like um, uh, you, you know, like riddles or do, what do you call it? Like teka teki. You have a question, then you need to answer something like that. You know. Uh, then um, a riddle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Then uh, you answer some question. Uh, you 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 ask some question, and then you answer that question, and then uh, you try to make it you know uh, fun. Okay, that one is okay. It's fine. Okay, uh, try not overly do it. Okay, because some some of the jury, uh, for example, if they say it's an online jury, uh, online competition, some of jury are uh, they're very serious. Okay, they don't like jokes. All right, some of jury they are very serious. All right. So sometimes when you make jokes, it doesn't make any sense to the jury. All right. And then the next question, doesn't that reduce our point? Um, basically, jokes is not uh, really reduce your point. All right. But okay, uh, I think it's not necessary when you have very limited time. Okay. When you have very limited time, then that's why you don't need to, you know, make any jokes. All right. Okay. Back to you, Nayo. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Roslan, for the answer. I hope it's very clear. Uh, but since the time is almost 15 and 30 p.m. here in, uh, in West Java, so we're about to end this session. Uh, if you still have some question, you can contact us later or personally ask Mr. Roslan through his contact we'll give you. Uh, because later, uh, we're going to give you the Instagram account or WhatsApp number for more questions. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, Naya. Uh, yeah. Before, before I end, I just want to say, all right. So I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry that I'm, I will not able to answer all of the questions. And I, and uh, I understand, I read all your questions and some of your question is very interesting, okay? And then I wish I can, uh, I can, you know, I can answer your question. But again, because of the limited time, uh, we just randomly pick, we just randomly pick the question. So you can, uh, you can throw back, uh, throw your question to Neyo or to Isa, so I can help you to answer. Or you can directly contact me through my VR, all right, VR or IG, all right? So you can uh, private message me, then I, try to assess so as much as I can, all right, with your question and so on. All right, and then uh, before we end, Nayo, uh, I wish you uh, all the best, all right, and then uh, selamat berpuasa and uh, selamat menyambut lebaran, yeah. Uh, lagi, apa, one more week, yeah, Nayo? I yes. think one more week, yeah, almost one more week to celebrate, okay, to celebrate lebaran. So I uh, wish you all the best, all right? And then uh, I hope we still can keep in touch. All right, thank you, all right? Thank you for having me. All right, thank you for having me uh, today. And I hope it really uh, useful, yeah? Okay, whatever that I share with you, okay? I hope it will help you. All right, back to you, Nayo. Okay, so before we end this uh, seminar, I would like to give a form. It's an attendance form that will, uh, that there's going to need all of you guys to fill it. So I'm just going to give us the link through the comment section. The link is uploaded. Uh, you can click the link on the comment section. You can uh, fill all the questions. Write your name, write your uh, class, fill up the other section on the forum. Hello, it's Nayo. important because Nayo. we Nayo. need... Nayo. Yes? Yeah. There seems to be a technical issues on the links, so I want you guys to wait a minute and uh, don't let the room yet. Okay, while we wait before I, uh, I'm gonna revise, revise the link, we're going to take a picture together. So make sure all of you guys uh, turn on your camera, uh, 
you can you can try to go to the link the attendance link after the photo section yes the form cannot be accessed because there is a technical issues but it's okay we're going to take a picture uh, and then I'm going to share the the newest link is everybody's camera turned on come on show me your face yeah, just switch on the camera. Remember that my first yes. slide, video on and video off. <laughs> Remember the rules, guys. Yeah. Don't get too close, but don't get too far. Okay. I'm going to wait like um, one more minute. So people who haven't turned on their camera, uh, please turn it on. But if you have a problem, it's, it is very fine. If you don't turn it. I saw Aditya. You are on post, yeah, Aditya. <laughs> the link will be given after this. Uh, you don't have to access the link I gave you before because the form is closed. Jadi linknya masih terkendala. Jadi jangan diakses dulu ya yang tadi. Alright, okay, we're going to take a picture. Take a photo first. Is everyone ready now? Please turn on your camera. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm about to count. Five, four, three, two, pose. Let's give it another shot. Five. Four, three, two, pose. Okay. You can post it kayak apa aja, terserah. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I have to go, I have to leave. All right, so uh, thank you very much. All right, uh, I hope to see you again. All right, uh, and then at the same time, let us pray. Yeah, uh, kita berdoa ya agar COVID-19 ya semakin ya COVID-19. So I can travel to Indonesia again. All right, <laughs> we'll be waiting for you in here. Yeah. So uh, thank you to all of you. All right. So. Um, all the best, all right? All the best. Bye. All, right. all right, all the best to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Rosana. Right. For yeah. the audiences, Thank please you, don't leave the room yet. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you, Mister. Thank you, Mister. Thank you, Thank you, Mister. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Mister. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Oh, don't leave. Uh, we're going to share right. the link after this. See ya. See ya. Thank you, Mr. Roslan. You're welcome. All right. See you. Bye. See you. Nice to meet you, uh, sir. Yeah. Thank Jangan you. Jangan dulu ya. Okay. For oh, the rest of you, please do not leave yet, yeah, because you need to register for the certificate, yeah, for the certificate, online certificate. Arigato, Mr. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to share the link. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I already shared the link in the comment section. Uh, you can fill it ya lewat Google Form. Jangan lupa untuk tulis nama lengkapnya dan segala ketentuan-ketentuan yang ada di sini. Oke. Kan sare sare Nama pametanya apa ya? Nama pematerinya Ruslan Mr. Ruslan Ruslan Otman Tempat kalian hujan enggak guys? Kalau sudah diisi linknya, sudah boleh live ya. Terima kasih. Thank you. Terima kasih, Kak. Yo, sama-sama, yo. Terima kasih, Kak. Oke, terima kasih, Kak. 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 Uh, akan diumumkan lagi di grup. Oh, oke. Okay. Terima kasih kak. Yo. Terima kasih kak. Thank you, Kak. Udah ya. Yo. Makasih udah join. Jangan lupa untuk standby informasi-informasi berikutnya seputar seminar keempat. Nai, nai. Di situ jadi yeah. jadi host ya, nai. Kenapa? Di situ jadi host ya. Nanti jadi host. Bedanya apa tuh? Enggak, di sini aneh enggak bisa enggak bisa masuk lagi. Just wait. Nanti pakai meeting-nya.
Ya, terima kasih. Udah bisa live ya yang sudah selesai mengisi linknya. Terima kasih udah join. Naik, naik, naik. Hmm? Suruh kabarin yeah. aja, suruh suruh pada live itu. Ini udah udah dua jam lebih recordnya. Soalnya host host lost. Hostnya siapa? Eh? Iya, ini lost tadi gara-gara connection lost. Jadi dia nggak bisa masuk room lagi. 